Damn it. Let's hope at least my PDA still works. Yes? Yes, Dr. Toka here, but... You're a shrink, aren't you? Do you have a minute? Now's not a good... It's not that I didn't try. It took some time to make up my mind. But it sure felt great to do something about it at last. It felt just like a birthday. You're not saying anything. What's on your mind? I'm usually the one to ask this question. You sound tired, Doc. Go back to sleep. Who the hell was that? Sounded like a real nut job. Where did she... How?
tell you. That's a My father was a soldier in the Republic Army. He was testing new weapons. Friday, November 9th, 2000. Good day to you, Thong. Name day, Joanna. Attention, tram number five, connecting the main atrium with the recreation center, is arriving at platform number three. I need a little pick-me-up. Hi, Albert. Kick it. That usually works. Well, not today, apparently. Looks like it's the bar for us. Come on. What's going on, man? No offense, but you look like shit. Rough night, huh? Well, I think my dream job's getting to me, finally. Believe me, I know what you mean. I feel like this cog in the machine, you know? It makes sense when you look at it. it helps maintain order. Yet, people are depressed. I think the Colonel planned it all wrong. But you're the shrink. You know all this. We're all that's left of humanity, and a bunch of malcontents at that. It doesn't bode well for the new civilization. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> Are you forcing small talk? Right. Nice weather we've been having lately, don't you think? Ha, <laughs> true. But that plutonium rain this morning ruined my barbecue plants. Man, I hate this place. Yeah, me too. If it weren't for Carolina... Um, yeah. How's the situation, anyway? I'm not avoiding it like other people, so I can't really complain. Ah, uh, don't let it get to you. It's the price of being a shrink. You're collecting people's thoughts from the Colonel. No wonder they're avoiding you. Anyway, thanks for the advice about the vending machine. For a minute there, I felt genuinely relieved. I guess I should use that in my therapy. Stress relief through violence. <laughs> Sounds pretty catchy, don't you think? Attention! Albert Tokai is to be detained immediately for crimes against the, the Republic. Fuck? Uh... I'll explain later. It's bullshit. Maybe so, Dr. Tokai, but it won't be Mr. Gottler you'll be explaining to. Please do not resist. What do you Everyone say to that, to stay in their rooms or recreational areas until further notice. Stop him!
or two. Attention. What do you Everyone say to that, Doc? Stay dog? in their rooms or recreational areas until further notice. Stop him! What are you doing here? Freeze! This area is closed until further notice. No, I haven't seen him. And I have no idea where he is. Why are you looking for him? What has he done? That is none of your business, madam. There he is! Get him! <laughs>
personnel are conducting a search for Tokai. Keep shit. piss off this time. The whole area is crawling with guards, all looking for you. Carolina, is she safe? As far as I know, yes. They've locked her in her room. But it's you they're after. You have to hide and wait this out. Go to the tech area behind my cubbyhole. I'll try to find out what the story is. Don't worry about her. They've turned the power off, but I've got my own generator. I didn't have time to change the fuse, though. You wouldn't mind doing me a favor, would you? But... Don't worry. I'll try to restore the main power supply. It may take some time, though. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. There's no monsters there. It's a complete mess in here. I have to watch my step. That's what I was looking for.
Thanks, Matthew. Albert Tokai, 34 years old. Albert Tokai, 34. Psychiatrist. Albert Tokai, pharmacologist. Albert Tokai, born on the 13th of May, 1999. Albert Tokai. Sacrifices are to be made. Only then can a nation begin anew. And one of those to be sacrificed has just arrived. Welcome, Mr. Tokai. Yeah. Bring him to me. Are you? Damn. Why do I even come here if you're not paying attention? Screw this. I'm sorry. I... Whatever. See you later, Dr. Dozy. We'll finish it tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I know. been sleeping well lately. Sometimes I don't sleep at all. And when I finally manage to fall asleep, it happens at the worst possible moment. That in itself wouldn't be such a problem, but my dreams are ridiculous. They're convincing. So convincing that I forget I'm dreaming. When I wake up, images remain vivid, and I'm constantly accompanied by an irritating sense of deja vu. My REM sleep is usually inhabited by restless patients. And now the dead neighbor joined the party. And he was like, I need to slow down know that the third get some real sleep. I heard they wanted to improve something here. I heard they wanted to improve something here. I wonder when. Okay hey, to you, Doc. Good morning. Attention, tram number five, connecting the main atrium with the recreation sector, is arriving at platform number three. Yeah, Al, I've been looking for you. What is it? The Colonel demands your presence in the conflict. Demands? Why not requests? You know the drill. And I thought that today couldn't get any better. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm your friend, remember? I don't seem to have too many of those these days. Jeez, wouldn't mind eating something first. Anyways, thanks. Water 
First things first, the old prick will have to wait. Not like he has any choice if it's that important. Damn, this ventilation system is shit. Oh, hey, Arek. Sorry, man, but I'm in quite a hurry right now. What's going on? Well, there's a problem I have to fix on the lower level. Apparently, it's a big deal, so excuse me. Take care, Albert. Right. You too. Carolina. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd never come. Sorry, uh, I, I had to finish a session, but it didn't go that well. An aggressive patient? This time a sleepy doctor. <laughs> nice job, Doc. Let's not talk about it. It's hard to make an impression as a good psychiatrist if you're constantly falling asleep during sessions. I'm just so tired. And now I've been called into the conference room. The colonel's probably gonna send me on a suicide mission, though I think he would be content just using my head as a dartboard. But seriously, everyone's in one hell of a rush today. Yes, I noticed. Maybe it has something to do with this meeting. Maybe, but I don't really care. How's your day at work? Don't change the subject. It might be something really important. More important than us? You know what I mean, Albert. I'm sorry. If only agreeing with you didn't mean meeting with this old prick. Don't call him that. It can get you into trouble. Okay, you're right, as usual. Dr. Tokai, the Colonel ordered me to escort you to the conference room, in case you had different plans. Like they ever mattered. Did the pills help Private Grotsky? Maybe they would. But at a party, Kornat stole them from my locker, thinking they're candies, and fell into a coma. At least I know they work. Anyway, let's not keep the Colonel waiting. Cometh the chosen one. A minute longer and we'd have to send a rescue party for you. Not everyone's a clockwork soldier, gentlemen. The Colonel's on the line, Doc. You know what your problem is, Mr. Tokai? You're not even trying to be respectful. I have to wait for you every single time. You disrupt the entire administrative process. There is a problem, Mr. Tokai. On the second sub-level. I'm guessing it's not a technical issue. Rather a behavioral problem. People are acting strange. It is probably just a leak in the ventilation system. Some kind of chemical contamination. The quarantine procedure sealed all of the laboratory doors. 
trapping scientists inside. And? And you, as our prominent psychiatrist and pharmacologist, will go there with the security guards, find the cause, and neutralize it. It is your duty, Mr. Tokai. But I think that is your second problem, Mr. Tokai. You think too much. You have your orders, Mr. Tokai. Dismissed. Yes, sir. So, where exactly are we going? Ask the doc. He's in charge. Are you kidding? The thing at once. Nearly passing through. Where the hell is everyone? This area is usually crawling with technicians and stormen. I've never seen this gate shut. Hey, Doc. Make use of this analytical brain of yours and diagnose the problem. The gate has the closure syndrome. I would prescribe a key card. Why don't you ask it about his childhood? Maybe it will open to you. And if it won't, just find that damn key card. Why the hell won't we issue one? Where would be the fun without complications? Communications down again. I can see on the cameras that something's not right in the reception area, but we can't contact them. We're going to check it out with Adam. You know where to find us in case of any problems. All right. No wonder it's jittery. <laughs> Hasn't seen too much real action since day zero. <laughs> Take this tranquilizer gun, Doctor. We don't know the exact nature of these behavioral problems. Gee, thanks. That will certainly solve all of them. <sighs> there should be a hanger behind it. Okay, Doc. Do your magic. I know this man. He's one of my... 
my patience. Hey, Roman, hey. Do you remember me? Look at me. Look at me. Look into my eyes. Why, you son of a bitch! You want a piece of me? And how do you like that? Well, huh? You like it? Man, that's enough. Stop it. He needed to relax. Wasn't that overkill? I only wonder why I was the only one to keep a cool head, Mr. Professional. Shit. HQ! Come in, HQ! Why aren't they responding? I'm not leaving him here. So you just got yourself a solo recon mission. Go to the reception and contact the HQ. Looks like security channels are down. Are you crazy? I'm not going anywhere. Why don't we just go back and contact in the traditional way? And give the Colonel another reason to complain how useless we are? Do as I say. You know that I have to write a report? Son of a bitch.